Hey there, welcome to the lecture on SSH key generation. We can use two types of keys, RSA and DSA. Both of them are key generation algorithms. RSA stands for Ron Rivest, Adi Shamir and Leonard Edelman. So these are the three persons who first publicly described the algorithm in 1977. RSA algorithm is widely used for secure data transmission and it can be used to generate public-private key pair. Now even though the minimum length is 768 bits and default length is 2048 bits, there is actually no upper limit of RSA key length and 2048 bits is fairly secure. You can use key length higher than this, but it comes at a cost. Remember, bigger the key length, the more is the time required for decryption. Hence, too big a key length is unsuitable for practical purposes. Now I'll talk about DSA key. DSA is an acronym for Digital Signature Algorithm. It was proposed by National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, in August 1991. Since DSA key length is limited to 1024 and RSA key length isn't limited, so one can generate much stronger RSA keys than DSA keys. Now I will show you the SSH key gen program that generates the key pair. This command also generates a directory named .ssh in the user's home directory which contains the key pair. So let's get back to our terminal now. So let's see where we are. So we are in the user's home directory slash git fast. So here is the program ssh key gen. So if I press enter and run this program, it will generate a public-private RSA key pair with default values. However, I don't want to run this one with default values. Hence, let me show you how to run this program with various options so that you can have a greater control over the program. So the first option is T, or SA is a value where T defines the type of the key. So if you want to generate a DSA key instead of RSA key, you can type DSA here. However, we'll be generating an RSA key. The next option is B option, which determines the key length. Now, if you remember that 2048 is a default value. However, we'll take a different value of 4096 which will generate a much stronger encrypted key pair. And the other option is uppercase C, which stands for comment. So we'll provide a comment here, which is key pair generation demo. Now this comment is pretty much helpful if you have multiple key pair, and then it helps us to distinguish between the different key pairs. Now we are ready to generate the key pairs. So let's press enter. Now it says it is generating the public-private RSA key pair. Now the program prompts us to enter the name of the private key and the location of it. And also it provides a default name which is id underscore RSA and a default path which is in the user's home directory slash dot ssh. Now you can provide a different location for the private key and a different name of the private key. However, here we'll accept the default location and the default private key name. So we'll press enter here. Now the program wants us to enter a passphrase, which means password. You can enter a password to make your key pair even more secure. However, we'll press enter here, 
which means empty for no passphrase. Press enter. Now it prompts us to enter the passphrase again. Since you are not providing any passphrase, we'll enter again. And bingo, the private public key pair has been generated. Now there are several key things which I want to point here. Now as you can see, the private key has been generated and saved in this location. And the name of the private key is id underscore rsa. The public key has been generated and saved in this location. Public key is id underscore rsa dot pub. And here is the key fingerprint in public key cryptography. A public key fingerprint is a short sequence of bytes used to identify a longer public key. And here you can see SHA-256. SHA-256 is a cryptographic hash algorithm.